Make sure you check out our new sponsor, the Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. Breaking news, breaking news. Shout out to my brother Aaron sent it to me on Facebook according to Dan Rayfield. Jarrell Big Baby Miller has been popped for allegedly uh, doping, cheating. Second time he's been popped, he got popped in the state of California when he was a kickboxer. Brought that up when Gerald uh, Washington trainer uh, brought it up in a boxing scene article. Talk about it. Good for Sports TV. One time for the one time we in here. Dan Rayfield does an article on it. I linked our article in the description as usual. But we getting in one time for the one time. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, if you want 100% all natural products. Check them out website, promo code in the description. It says, breaking news, heavyweight contender Jarrell Big Baby Miller, proud of New York, has tested positive for a banned substance, GW1516, ahead of his scheduled challenge of unified world title holder, Anthony Joshua. Three sources, three sources, with knowledge of the results, told ESPN on Tuesday night the fight is due to take place on June 1st at New York's Master Square Garden. It served as a Joshua American debut. The results, which came to light on Tuesday, were from a random voluntary anti-doping association conducted urine test Miller submitted to, uh, to on March 20th. Ironically, Miller accused Joshua of using PEDs during their press tour and announced, uh, announced the fight. So that is true. Now, we learned about GW... Uh, I guess it's 50, uh, 51516 is what I pulled up. And uh, it was invented in collaboration between uh, some other stuff. In 1990, it was entered into a clinical development of a drug can- uh, candidate for metabolic, for metabolic uh, diseases and cardiovascular disease. And it was abandoned in 2007 because animal testing showed that the drug caused cancer to develop rapidly in several organs. Uh you know, so if this is the same drug, this is what I pulled up, and he got it wrong. In two thousand, unless he got, unless it's another drug, but this is what when I pulled up GW one five one six, it came up fifty one five one six. So, uh, so pretty much, uh, I don't know exactly what how it helped. Oh, here we go, performance enhancing drugs. All right, he said the concerns were raised prior to two thousand eighteen Beijing Olympics. According to this drug, GW five zero one one five one six could be used by athletes as a uh, uh, an aerogenic performance enhancing drug that was not currently controlled by regulation or detected by standard tests. One of the main researchers from the studies on it, uh, enhanced endurance, so it enhances endurance and developed a urine test to detect the drug and made it available to the uh, International Olympic Committee, the uh, WADA. And um, WADA's uh, World Anti-Doping, I think that's what WADA and uh, USADA both answer to. And it's been promoted on bodybuilding websites. In 2011, it had already been available for some time on the black market. 2011, it was reported to cost 1000 for 10 G. Um, 2012, WADA, WADA recategorized the dope from a, a gene doping combine to a hormone, hormone and metallic, well, metata, metabolic excuse me, modulator. Okay, so basically this is, you know, it helps endurance and um, it's used by bodybuilders. We know uh, Big Baby Rose with body, uh, Rose with a lot of bodybuilders and stuff of that nature. Sorry if I butchered some of these words, but um, um, it's also been linked to uh, studies doing obesity, diabetes, trying to help that type of stuff. But, uh, you know, bodybuilders use it to, you know, enhance they uh, and do in current, in current endurance, you know, enhance their endurance and um. You know, it's crazy, you know, it's crazy, man. But, um, you know, I'm I'm not happy for this, man. It's a bad look for, for us U.S. guys. But, lot, but Big Baby had been popped before. And like I said, the whistleblower shoot is usually the one that's doing the criminal <laughs> the criminal stuff sometimes. So um, he got popped by a urine test. And, they, and it sounded like they, uh, you know, they created a, a urine test to, to catch this drug. But, you know, the, th- the tickets weren't moving. They was lying. And I just went on the stream. Say they sold 17,000 tickets, okay? They ain't sold that many tickets. A lot of them tickets are on the resale. They was lying. They told me we had the biggest pre-sale ticket gate. Pre-sale tickets is when they make available. You get early access to buy the tickets. But none of the UK people bought the tickets to come over. A lot of the tickets was 400 for a nosebleed. It was 1100 in the nosebleed section. It was way overpriced. Tickets wasn't moving. It wouldn't shock me 
that this was a win for Anthony Joshua. So now Joshua don't have an opponent. It's going to be hard to sell a late late replacement at this point. They still a couple months. Well, they probably got a month a month left. So you got the month of May, half of, of, of April. So they got six weeks out. It's supposed to be June 1st. So they scrapped the entire thing. But they put Dillian White over there. They hurry up and try to do something in the U.K., scrap the date, do something in the U.K. At the end of the day, Big Baby Miller finished. All that shit he was running and talking about his mouth, you know, especially with, you know, it's no, you know, it's really hard to give, you know, a black fighter a second chance like him who ran his mouth. It's already hard for us to bounce back from this. So this could be his career. It could be over with. Um, a lot of people don't like him. Black people, white people. He just runs his mouth very arrogant. But a lot of people got behind him because they didn't like AJ. They didn't like them sporting their water on reporters. But at the same time, it is what it is. I don't have no remorse for him. He sat there hating on Deontay Water all this time. And Jerry Washington trainer accused him before they fought. And they, he didn't accuse. He said, well, he failed drug testing back in February, you know, back in when he was a kickboxer, you know, in California, he did his time there. And then he said that big baby refused to do violent drug testing with them. And apparently he just did the, whatever state they was fighting in, he did the urine test, but I guess they didn't do the extensive urine test that water that got put in to catch this drug. And, um, apparently he got popped back in March 20th. So we just not hearing from it damn near almost a month later, four days to be in a month later. So, uh, what it does for his career, you know, I think it's, I think it may be over for him, man. You know, I, th- I just, I just really don't, I don't understand it. But a lot of people thought with that way he was putting on the endurance he was, he was putting on the muscle he was holding. A lot of people already accused him or thought he was on something, and um, it is what it is. So I can't wait to see what AJ got to say. Can't wait to Eddie Hearn got to say. So I linked that article in the description. Salute to the brothers. Salute to uh, Mr. Aaron Stinson, man, for sending me to that on Facebook. Facebook just not started back giving me my inbox notification. So I'll be getting to everybody to inbox me there. I got off Facebook Creator. So we back to regular page manager. So don't forget to check out our sponsor, Help Blaze, at thehelpblaze.com. Promo code GoodFellow One Boxing. Get you 18% off the 100% all natural products. We love yourself, foot soaks, bad bombs, the other toothpaste, and much, much more. Head over to thehelpblaze.com. They make their products they sell right in the United States, 100% cured and made here. So check them out. And we will be giving out some free stuff. I forgot to get some stuff out on the, on the live today but i will do a video uh, my next video i will get something out so you pay attention see what you gotta do to win a free ten dollars or twenty dollars from the hell blaze but check out the website promo code 18 percent off check it out it's in the description you won't be mad at their products and don't forget we on facebook instagram twitter reach out to the email if you have a business question inquiry sponsorship or video request appreciate everybody for showing love to the channel continue to share the videos man it's the best way to help us grow share 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 and if you continue to share the videos i continue to grow and i continue to drop that heat one time for the one time. Good fellow sports TV. Let me know what you think in the comment section. We gone.